Welcome! Number 20, video 20. Um, yeah, going great, I think, right? Uh, approaching uh, in total 10,000 views and uh, 100 subscribers. Fun! Um, let's do this a while more, a while longer. I have submitted patches for my uh, download manager content length uh, thing patch uh, problem in, in Firefox. Hopefully I will get that landed soon and I'll write up a very detailed blog post about all those little tiny details about this problem and HTTP and, and the pains in following the standards while all the servers out there are not or uh, differ in ways they follow the standards anyway. Fun. <clears throat> And that bug has haunted me now for quite a while. I actually started working on it just about a year ago. Or yeah, basically when I started Mozilla, I started on this bug. So it's been with me for a while already. And it's, uh, as I mentioned last week, it's turning 11 years old soon. <clears throat> oh, uh, I should mention that in the curl project, we have some fun as always, depending on your definition of fun. Uh, I again we brought up the I brought up because uh, I speak about the same things all the time. I brought up the issue about um, uh, or the potential um, project of uh, splitting out the virtual TLS API or the kind of the common API for TLS libraries that we have in internally in libcurl and make a, um, some sort of external um, proper library of that to be able to offer other projects the same ability to use different backends. I mentioned it before several times and I did um, I separated it once in internally in libcurl so there are they're sort of separate within libcurl not entirely but I, I started the work and it never got off took off really so uh, but now people in the wget project suddenly uh, showed some real interest and we've started a separate mailing list now uh, see this little annotate thing somewhere uh, here uh, for for the email uh, mailman list and everything and uh, join in and participate and uh, share your ideas we'll see whether this project takes off or not i'm a bit um, i've done stuff like this before that never has taken off so uh, i'm not exactly sure that this will be a project that will stand on its own feet um, i mean in five years, but let's let's really investigate if if we can make something out of this. I think it could work. <clears throat> the libcurl supports uh, eleven different TLS libraries today, and there are no other. Uh, what well, I know, I don't know of any other client side um, internet uh, connected uh, programs that can do more or have this kind of fairly neat uh, API for, for them. <clears throat> Discussions going on. Join in. Have fun. Uh, I also kind of brought back another favorite topic of mine that I've mentioned before and this time uh, I got some suggestions uh, and, they, and we're talking about uh, doing curl stickers and curl um, t-shirts. And it all, it all came actually because I... <coughs> let me show you. I have this this is my laptop uh, and as you can see full of stickers but there are no curl stickers on it and I showed this uh, I showed a picture of this on, online and, and someone mentioned oh there's there are no curl stickers on it and that kind of triggered me to yeah let's make a curl sticker uh, um, uh, there's a little collection of, of some designs online uh, join in and send in your, your suggestions as well and we'll pick the best one or a fun one or vote or something and and uh, I'll, I'll make some. I have an old um, offer to produce, uh, an old sponsorship offer for someone who said that they would do the uh, curl t-shirts for me if I wanted to. So I'm going to try and see if that offer is still valid. Otherwise I'm going to see if I can find another sponsor. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to send out the shirts, but let's get the shirts, shirts first and then uh, figure out how to get them into the hands of curl hackers or curl fans or whoever. I don't know really what, I mean, what's the purpose with curl shirts apart from 
the fun of it. It's fun. I also, I'm also working on a, um, of a kind of a snarky blog post because snark is what I do. No, but a snarky blog post about um, the, this habit that we've seen twice in the curve project that people kind of report their bugs in a PowerPoint presentation in a conference instead of, I mean, not even trying to contact the project or me or whoever is involved in curl. They just make a, a, some snarky and uh, uh, sarcastic slides in a presentation somewhere and get a lot of ego boost, I guess, I guess out of that. Um, there's not there's nothing wrong with presentations or showing everything showing the world about problems or whatever but I think when it comes to problems in an open source project I think it's f a fair idea and suggestions and a good thing to at least contact the project I mean submitting a bug report is not hard for any project and at least if you have a bug that you think that you think is serious enough to mention and blah blah about at a conference for hundreds of uh, people in the audience, then I think you could take uh, a couple of minutes off your busy schedule and provide a bug report as well. And this bug report via or bug report in PowerPoint uh, have it happen again. Um, this autumn actually, so I have, I've actually had been laying on this bug report for a while because I get so annoyed. So um, I don't think, I mean, should I really bother? when they don't even bother to report the bug. But uh, in the end, I got reminded about this uh, by a friend who, who was this, my friend who, who actually witnessed this um, presentation at a conference in October 2014. And the presenter there, he, um, he made a point about curl using source code or providing source code that are, is actually copyright RSA Inc with a license that says something about we need to tell everyone that we're using uh, these uh, algorithms and the algorithms in questions are MD4 and MD5, old legacy stuff that are used for some of the old legacy authentication protocols. So basically I just figured I'd, I'd deal with it. So I ripped out the old implementations and I yanked in a new implementation that, uh, that I have a, a public domain open source, uh, they're either public domain or uh, BSD license, depending on your, your jurisdiction, basically, that's what the license says. So those should be perfectly fine. And they are actually API compatible with the old. So I ripped out the old and yanked in the new. And the, yeah, I actually find, found out some problems with the AXTLS backend then, but that was only good because then I could uh, detect that we didn't use the AXTLS version of the MD5 function. So I could switch the, that and that would make the uh, build when using AXTL, AXTLS even smaller than it was before. So all good about that. I also added a couple of unit tests for MD4 and MD5 functions in curl. So I'm, I was pretty confident that they work the same way when, with the old implementations and with the new implementations. That's about it for this week. Not a lot more fun uh, uh, than so. <clears throat> uh, heading forward. Um, let's see. Yeah. There's not a lot of special things going on this week. Um, no. That's about it. I'm checking my calendar. That's why I am got silent like this. I'm, I have the calendar on, on the screen behind the camera. <clears throat> I have the calendar on that screen and I have my, uh, these are my little notes, what I should mention in this episode on this screen. So I have them on each side of the camera and I can have the camera in the middle. Ooh. That's it. See you next week. Bye bye.